Do you have this problem that occurs when running SETI Astro's Blind Solver 2000? Stay tuned as I show you how to fix this issue as SETI Astro has provided me the steps and I'll walk you through it right now. Hello everyone, my name is Shoin Kashi and you're watching Astro Island. SETI Astro recently launched his script Blind Solver 2000. Now, unfortunately for me and just a few other people on various forums that I looked at, they encountered a particular issue that I had as well. And I reached out directly to SETI Astro to provide a fix. So let's get straight to the computer and see what's going to happen and how we go about fixing it, okay? So we are now on the computer and this is a random image that I took off the internet that has no asymmetric solution and I would like to have this blind solved. Frank recently launched uh, from SETI Astro, he recently launched another script called Blind Solver 2000. So you go to script, SETI Astro and Blind Solver 2000. We will enter our key that we got from astrometry.net. He also provided a video uh, explaining all of those details. I'm going to put a link in the description down below to his video that clearly explains everything. And thereafter, you'd usually click on Start Plate Solve. Now, in my instance, what happened was I kept getting this message, waiting for the login process to complete. And this would go on for a few iterations until at the end it came up with a message that usually says timeout waiting for response file so i reached out directly to frank at seti astro and he provided me with some steps and that's also uh, the file is also on his um, video as well as i'm going to put a copy of the file on in the description down below on how to fix it so let's walk through the steps now on how to download the file and resolve that issue shall we now, on SETI Astro's video where it says Blind Solver 2000, finally a blind solve plate option for Pixing site, he pinned in his comment the file that will fix the issue that we're going to have. So you would usually click on it and download that particular file. I've already done so, so let me just go straight to the desktop. It's already been downloaded, so we're going to extract it. I'm just going to um, install it on the desktop. And what we want to do, this particular file, Blind Server 2001, is going to show up. So all we basically do, we can copy it and we go straight to where the PixInsight scripts folder is located. So we go to, in my instance, I have it installed on the C, Program Files, PixInsight, SRC, and Scripts. And we just basically paste it inside of here. I have already pasted it, so let me just show you. Blind Solver 2001. So this has already been copied and pasted into the scripts folder. Do not place it in any other folder besides this one. Once that's done, we go back to PixInsight. We go to Script, Feature Scripts, Add, and we look for where that file has been installed which is in the scripts folder. So we go back, we can go to C, Program Files, Fix Inside, SRC, and Scripts. And we just select the folder. It's gonna run a scan. Now in my instance, because I already have it installed, it's gonna tell me zero additional scripts were installed in the directory so we can cancel that in my instance but yours would come up showing that blind solver 2001 is now available and we click on done we then go to script seti astro and now we're going to see blind solver 2001 so we click on that one it's going to launch we're going to enter the code that we entered before from the astrometry.net API key. That same key, we're going to apply it again inside of here. And we're going to check perform full image solver after astrometry.net solution collected. So this time we click on create solve. Of course, ensure that the image that you want 
is selected and then we click on start plate solve so that's going to run and as you can see it's working now so this is going to take a while to run and we'll be back very shortly okay so we're back and as you can see now that the the image has been blind solved we can thereafter enter our information it already has the right ascension and declination of that particular image you can put in any other Im um, information that you want or you can usually uh, leave it at default you can click ok this message is going to appear if you haven't entered anything specific within the date and time but that's quite all right you just click on yes and then now the image is going to be solved all right so the image has now been solved or blind solved before and then afterwards we have used the image solver to solve the image now once that's been done you can now go on to do many other items in PixInsight such as again Setiasho has another feature called what's in my image oh, there it is what's in my image or you can use um, the image now to, for, uh, for SPCC or many of the other tools that are required in PixInsight that requires the image to be solved. And that's about it. I hope this video has been very helpful. Many thanks again to Frank at SETI Astro for working alongside me in providing the steps involved to fix Blind Solver 2000 for those who are having that issue. Please remember to like and subscribe to the channel. And remember, it's not the size of the telescope that counts, it's how you use it. Thanks again, everyone. Take care and see you soon.